gonna play cowboy today. Throw some cows and get rid of some cows and do some things. So we're prepping gates and everything, getting ready to go to move some cows around. Here we go. Through that broken piece of fence because that's what happens when they see you now they find it we gotta find out which one is the mother so we're looking checking things out the bull standing outside there got another cow standing outside checking things out so, fun fun trying to do some separate just kind of stand here and look at them as they look at you nice and quiet Nobody says a word. Yep, there they are. Got them inside the barn for now. Do some shuffling around. Get them loaded up. Ship a couple of them off the market. And they'll be uh, a hamburger or two. We had somewhere in paradise. Because we like hamburger. Yeah, so these cows might try to be pretty good meat. They're fat suckers. They're living well. Living well. Still chasing cows. Not windy right here, but it's kind of windy. There we go. Got the cows kind of put in a whole place here. And we'll see what we can do to round them up and get them in a trailer. Captured cows. Now we're gonna see if we can load them in the trailer. So we got what we think we what we need. We're gonna make sure and we're gonna put them in the trailer. So he's coming to hook on the trailer now. I guess he kind of wait until make sure we had the right cows. Because there's it's a mix up here. Big ones, little ones, little ones growing bigger. Cows, big old hefty cows. So that's how, that's how he survives, I'm just saying. Moving cows. You have to convince them that where you want them to go is more important than where they want to go. You don't even have to do it very fast. You can do it nice and slow. I got bit by a wasp. Look at that. I got bit by a wasp. Dirty rotten bugger. Okay, so this is our operation for today. <laughs> it's kind of a fun operation. We're doing super sacks because where we're taking this grain to, because we had to go basically feed grain, we're taking this over to a guy who's feeding cows. And so this is what we're doing. We're loading it into these super sacks. I'll see if I can get a picture here while we're loading it, but um, get some video. So we, we built a hole in the ground, stuck an auger in it, okay, which an auger. I know people, they always, everybody wants to know, so I gotta show you. So, an auger's a great big screw in that tube, okay? It's got a gas motor on it. Runs it up the tube and out and into the super sack. And I will get pictures of that here in a minute. Get some video of that. Two person operation. So we put the pallet underneath it. Hang it from there. Which I was telling you. So we hang this from here. I gotta make sure that's all the way back though. Hey Brent, yeah. maybe bring your forklift in just a little closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, let me bring the sack in closer. Cause it's not quite in the middle. So I'm gonna move that sack to where it's kinda in the center. All right, I'm gonna get up here and I'm gonna show you how this is, how this is going on. He fires it up. This is not always good fruit. And I gotta keep this out of the way. And you go. That 
Put a vein in the back. Kind of hard to get good footage and be able to do the work, but this is basically we're suspending it by these straps. This is what holds the sack up. They're called super sacks, I guess, because they hold a super lot of stuff. I don't know, but uh, I got to undo the center of this one. So it's basically they're supposed they're designed to hold 2,000 pounds, and so we're just taking this off, but. And they're supposed to be dry. This one's going to have a little bit of, it's got some tears in it, but we're, you know, he's just going to store them inside, I think. So anyway, let me undo this and uh, get back to work and get something done.